What led me into this conversation today is watching the, the Olympics and, um, and kind of watching these athletes who are kind of just seem like just randomly picking their tribes or randomly picking their nations. A lot of people kind of moving back and forth. And so like, wow, this is a real, it's a new thing. I mean, it, it has always happened at some level, but it's happening now more and more, more than ever because, you know, we live in this global world and people can just jet around the world any way they want and it's really easy to do. All right, so these three people here, do you tell us about the first woman? I, I, yeah. Aileen, no, is it's Aileen a, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce the, her yeah. English name, but... Um, I didn't put her Chinese. The Chinese, you Chinese yeah. say it differently, or they write it differently, right? Right. In Chinese name, her name is Gu Ailing. And um, so basically like flipping the first name and last name. And the second girl, she's Zhu Yi. She's, Speak right into the mic. Okay. Yeah, she's um, Chinese ice skating. Is that how you call it, like ice skater? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Nathan, um, he identifies as American mm-hmm. ice skater. Yeah. So, so she, a, so it's A-I-L-I-N-G, right? Mm-hmm. a Ling. So mm-hmm. she is American, right? And oh. she is now, she's, she's competing for China. Right. She's a snowboarder, is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. And she speaks Mandarin yep, with a Beijing Mandarin. accent. Yeah, her Mandarin is pretty good. It's really good. You've heard her speak? Yeah. Yeah, because she spent summers there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> her mom is Chinese. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. But she's dodging the question. So she's, she grew up in the U.S. She trained in the U.S. She, by all intents and purposes, is an American, mm-hmm. right? She's rooted here, right? Um, that's hard to say. Well, she went back every summer, it sounds oh, like, okay, right? Oh, okay, okay. But she's an American. Like, she trains here, she learns snowboard here, like, mm-hmm. the whole nine yards, right? As an American, by how we think about it as an American. But, you know, we can be many things. Like, you, you, you know, you've spent eight years in the United States. So, it's like, that's almost half your life, mm-hmm. right? So, anyway, she decides, hey, I'm going to compete for China. Um... But you know, have you listened to any interviews with her? They ask her if she's... Yeah, I listened to one of her interviews. Yeah, with... Was, um, she was speaking up for herself in terms of how both sides were kind of accusing her for like, um, like both sides were saying that she was like betraying. Like there were like hate speech on both sides, but um, I don't know. I feel like she is very aware of what she's doing. Mm-hmm. And the thing that she said also um, makes sense to me. <laughs> what did she say? Like, she's just, like, uh, enjoying her best life, um, making the decision that she thinks is the best for her. Uh-huh. And doesn't matter what other people say. Um, she's, like, yeah, it, does, it seems like she doesn't care too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, the, in the, in China, mm-hmm. the people in China have really embraced her. Yes. That's Why do you think they've really embraced her? I think because um, she looks American and um, she identifies herself as, uh, or like she, she plays for China um, and she won't like gold medal. Uh huh. And it's something. And, and she speaks fluently. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they ask her whether she changed her citizenship and she dodges the question, right? Like she hasn't said yes or no. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Because in, in when, when, I, when I, you really see somebody like the last guy who clearly has come out and said, no, I, I told the Chinese I would compete for them, but I'm not changing my citizenship. Well, I'm sure that's true with her, mm-hmm. right? Because they would just come out. So it's just this game that's played. So this, ye, ye, is it, Ji Ji right? Ji Ju? Uh yeah, Ju Yi. Ju Yi? Yeah. Ju Yi. You that's what you say Ju Yi. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. I did that pretty well actually. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Um so so what's her story? 
Um, I think, yeah, she's, she grew up in China. She was competing for China. I, I'm not sure that part is very accurate. Like, as far as I know, she was competing for China, but, like, she failed. Like, during no, she grew, she grew up here oh, she in the U.S., yeah. Okay. And she moved there because her father took a job there. Oh, okay. And, and do you know? It, and I think, so, as far as I know, she failed in yeah. one of the competition, and then people on the internet were just kind of criticizing her for like not winning the game. I the guess. Chinese internet? Yeah. But, but here's the thing with her that's really interesting. She doesn't speak Mandarin very well. Whereas, is it Zhu Eileen? Uh, Gu Eileen. Gu, ah, Gu, Gu Eileen. She speaks fluently. The Zhu Yi? How do I do? Zhu Yi? Yeah, Zhu Yi. Zhu Yi. Yeah. She doesn't speak Mandarin very well at all. And so, like, oh. she's not perceived to be Chinese enough. So even though she gave up her U.S. citizenship, moved to China, took citizenship in China, right, and now competes for the Chinese people and the Chinese government, she doesn't speak very well, and so she's not been embraced at all, which is really, for me, it says something about your, the ability to become, like to embrace a particular identity. You have to really show that you hold that identity, that you have that identity. But if you can't speak the language really well, then it doesn't appear as though you do. And the other guy, Nathan, uh -huh. do you know his story? Uh, he competed for American. Yeah. yeah. He's like, red, he's all red, white, and blue. Yeah. Yeah. He's very skinny. And they're, are they like, are, are, the Chinese, it's, are people in China embracing him or are they? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I didn't, like on the media, I didn't see too much about him. Yeah. No, yeah. they're not really. What would it take for you to compete on behalf of India? I'm imagining, you know what I mean? Like, what would it take for you to just be like, hey, even though I grew up here, I could just, like, what would it take? I was actually thinking about that when you guys were talking. Um, I had a feeling you were going to ask me that. Uh, and my initial thought is if I was an athlete to that caliber, it would take roughly the same amount for me to play for India as it would, I guess, play for Germany or Japan or anything. You know, I guess it... I want to say that there are exceptions for certain countries, but I feel like that's unfair. Mm -hmm. You mean so you as a, this um, American U.S. citizen of Indian or Gujarati ancestry, right? Yes. You're, you're no more aligned, you would no more be aligned to India than you would some other random country. I guess in my head, I don't, I'm not assigning that much power to the country that you play for in the Olympics. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I, maybe just personally, maybe that's my own personal sense of nationalism or patriotism. Um, I know I'm a U.S. citizen, and I know by culture and ethnic background I'm Indian. So mm -hmm. I align with both, but, you know, if I'm that high up in, like, as an athlete, I wouldn't mind playing for Germany. I think it is a fair point, though, like the dual citizenship. I wouldn't mm -hmm. give up my citizenship. Yeah, you wouldn't think about that. I wouldn't. But you, know. you, okay, so, but you, and you speak, you understand Gujarati, right? Like I understand about 90% of it. Uh-huh. Um, there are some, like, little gaps, but I, I do understand the overwhelming majority. So, so you might be more like Jew, and, and she might speak better than it appears, but she... She's been there quite a number of years, right? But, but she doesn't speak Mandarin at all very much in public, right? So she's not confident in her Mandarin. So you might be more like her, right? You'd be in India. You'd just be speaking broken right. Gujarati or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? So can we go back to this? Like, can, what, can you just briefly, you kind of said it, but what do you think about picking a country, just randomly picking a country? I don't personally see an issue with it. I think it, it's fair. At, at, at the end of the day, it's the Olympics, right? It's kind of at its very core um, an event to bring all the countries together in a way, although it's done the opposite and it like, it's kind of, you know, a comp it, I mean, it is a competition, mm -hmm. but 
I don't think it matters whether you're a U.S. citizen and you play for Germany or you're a German citizen and you play for Japan. Mm -hmm. um, that's your prerogative.